Welcome to this Windows channel and yes we are having a Sunday video and uh, be basically the reason is Saturday evening Eastern Time North America well there was a new build of Windows 10 which is pretty extraordinary and uh, there was a little joke of uh, Donna Sarkar on the Twitter feed where she was saying yep it's Saturday evening and uh, we're working and apparently they're working hard and uh, sending us these builds so if you're in the fast ring check it out you've got Windows 10 Insider Preview 14385 and uh, it installed flawlessly works very well I've installed it yesterday evening when I got home uh, when it was released I was with some friends so um, basically didn't see anything thanks by the way to everyone on the channel that you know warns me about these things because um, I was not expecting a build yesterday and so when I got home, I looked at the comments on the YouTube channel and uh, saw that uh, a few of you told me, oh, there's a new build, by the way. So thank you so much for uh, being great people and letting me know. And uh, it's pretty cool. So basically, uh, no new features once again. And that is going to be the case of every build that we have um, from now until the anniversary update release candidate, which should happen this week maybe late in the week but should happen this week um, and you know what we we're talking last uh, last time about the numbering of uh, you know some people were saying oh 14384 will be the release candidate some say 14392 I've seen other numbers go around you know what there's no official number right now I think they're just going with the flow fixing everything they can and when it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna be a build a specific build and that's it what we know from 14.383 to 14.385, more than 200 bug fixes. Pretty incredible number of bug fixes when you think about it. And you know, when you look at the fact that actually the builds work really well and there are some bug fixes like that, you're like, wow, man, there's so many bugs. And yet we don't really see uh, much of those. Some people here were reporting that uh, Canada English uh, Cortana had problems. So it's possible that uh, apparently it was fixed here. So it's possible there were some problems there. Um, now, what's uh, fixed or not in this build? Uh, first of all, one of the few things that they fixed in this build is uh, the fact that a lot of people in the last build were a little scared because they got a, a little window appearing saying a, a Windows evaluation copy expires on 15 July. So this should be gone from your device now. Uh, it was a false alert and it should not be there. There's a fix of Spotify crashing when playing music. Uh, some uh, fixes for Google Chrome window that was being clipped on the top when maximized. Um, fixes for the mobile hotspot connections that would uh, actually cre create a blue screen, especially when uh, you were sharing a five gigahertz band connection. Uh, ad block extensions for Microsoft Edge not showing expected context menu. Um, a few fixes with the uh, extensions. And actually, if you turn on your Edge browser, uh, most of you will see that. It's going to tell you, well, there's some issues with your extensions. They've been reinstalled. Uh, so basically, that's uh, what's happening here. And uh, everything, you know, seems to work quite well. Um, Extension-wise and everything is uh, seems to be okay for now. Uh, very fast, very crisp, no problems at all for me. Um, one of the things that, um, if for the known issues, once again, there's a, a recent fix uh, into the place for Hyper-V firmware uh, that will affect the ability to boot Windows Server 2016 Tech Preview. There are a few things there again. If you have a non-US English PC, you might get an error code uh, 0x8000, 4005. When you enable developer mode, and um, especially with um, universal Windows applications, um, if you go on the Windows uh, website, if you ever have that error, you can actually uh, check it out. There's a fix, temporary fix for that to uh, help you uh, go around. Um, 
so you know we're getting really close we're uh, not this is not release candidate yet it's um, still you know one of the insider builds even though there's no watermark at the bottom right you want to know what version you've got simply type the winver command for windows version and you will have the um, 14385.0 build show up here in version 1607 so uh, check it out you should be here right now and expect one two maybe three builds this week I wouldn't be surprised um, as we get into the anniversary update a few little things that I want to talk about also here starting this week I've decided to start highlighting new features of the anniversary update so if you're wondering what's new what's changed check it out I'm gonna go through feature by feature of anniversary update stuff that is not in the regular Windows 10 right now so you'll have an idea of all sorts of the you know, new details all the new features all the new stuff that you'll be able to watch and check out on August 2nd when you start having the anniversary update so I think that's gonna be fun to check it out so I'll be doing a lot of videos on my insider preview machines showing you off different little um, features and the reason why I decided that you know we can safely do this is because basically the, um, the the code is finished you know the feature feature wise Windows 10 uh, anniversary update it's done what we have right now are bug fixes that are being rolled out regularly with these new builds so we're going to take a look at that and uh, it's going to be interesting to see when we get the official release candidate of course stay tuned to this channel you'll know when that happens um, probably this week a lot of people are seem to point this week um, but you know it's something that we have to just understand that it's not you know uh, written in stone like the build number you know what is going to be the final build number mm, that's everybody's guess I don't think anybody can say oh it's going to be this number so uh, let's just think that it's eventually going to be the release candidate officially so uh, if you're in a fast ring check it out new build released Saturday evening which was very unusual um, if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be able to form me new videos are online give us thumbs up and hopefully you will continue watching us. Thank you for watching.